First flag of the day. I'm giving them, they're starting to run. I like to watch and see if they make, they get a little bit of a run first year. Oh yeah, he's booking it. Give him a little bit here. I right, got him. Oh, doesn't feel real bad. Nice thing, when you fish in tip ups, you got heavy line like that and you can just pull them right out. Little guy, but they're a blast in the summer, in the winter like this. You get a bunch of friends together and a bunch of tip-ups, you can have a great time out in the lake. And today's show is all about tip-up fishing, and it is fun. It is a blast. We're going to go through a little bit of where I like to set up, what I like to look for, and some lure options and that, but this is a blast. You guys got to get out here and try this. I'm going to get another minnow on and get back down there. Oh yeah, he's going. I was just walking by and I just went around and checked these tip ups, kind of made sure there's bait on them. I seen this one hit it. Just like before, I'm gonna set the tip up on that side of me so it doesn't get in my way. In the feel for him, set the hook. He ain't big, but he is not big at all. That's okay. Little guy, he'll get bigger. But that's another key point I want to put across is that when you haven't seen anything going on with your tip ups for a little while, go around, pull them all the way up. I just grab the whole piece, pull it up, pull the line up. Check the bait, make sure there's nothing hanging off or anything like that. Put it back down, and a lot of times just that bait falling through the water column is enough to trigger a fish that could be 10, 15 yards away, and he'll see that bait falling, come in and eat it right then and there. So don't just set it and forget it. You gotta check it once in a while. Treat it just like a normal line. And get another bait, and I'm gonna get back down there. So before I'm getting this tip-up set down, I'll kind of give you guys a go through of how I like to set my tip-ups up. Um, right now, we got a little bit of a wind blowing this way, so I always set my tip up so the flag's set down with the wind. That way you minimize the chance of the wind blowing it up. But when you drill your hole like this, leave the ice around it, leave all your slush, leave everything, and then just clean out the inside. And what that's going to do, especially on tip ups like this, what it's going to do is keep the wind from coming in and freezing your hole up a little faster. So what I'll do is I'll just take the scoop here and I'll just pop out two little channels right across the hole, the hole from each other. And that's what my tip up's gonna set in. That way I get my tip up on the ice and I got it where I want it. I got it kind of hidden, the flag's hidden. So when I know, when a fish hits, all I'm gonna see is a flag. When I look over at it all the time, I'm not gonna see all the orange of the tip up and everything else waving. So I got my depth finder down there so I can kind of cheat and get this set right where I want it. Set it. I'm going to set these ones about eh, about a foot off the bottom, something like that. So I got my depth right there. I'm going to put my split shot back on. Just so I don't have to depth finder it every time. Under there. Set it down, check again, perfect. That's the easiest way I've found to set these tip-ups up. It's, uh, it, like I said, the snow helps your hole from freezing over and it just works a lot better. There we go, I think we just got a hit. Yep, there he goes. That did not take long. I'm gonna let him just kind of run a bit here. I'm gonna pick it up very slowly, angle this down, feed some line to him. And you want to kind of feel for them a little bit. There, I got them. Oh, 
just lost him. You can't get everyone, but if you see what I did when I was peeling that fish up, I was putting the line at the wind side of the hole. That way, if it was a really big fish and he were to take off again, that line's not going to be all tangled up in a ball. It can go right back down there. But we're going to get another bait on there and get back down. Yeah. He's chewing on it. Nice thing with those sinkers, the Oreo bobber stop works too to mark your depth, but you can see it when it's down the hole. Let's see if he's still on there. Nope. He dropped it. But one thing you want to make sure is you don't, with, when there's not much snow cover on the lakes, oh yeah, he's still good. You don't want to go boring up to a tip up. Um, you can run up to them in that, but you don't want to be sliding down on the ice and boring down because they will shallow water like this too. They can feel that and a lot of times that's enough just to make them drop it. We got that one back down. Close call there, but we'll get one. Nice run. I'm going to tease him. He didn't take it very good, so I'm going to tease him a little bit. Try to get him to run away with it. I feel him chewing on it. There he goes. I got him. Hey, what? They're not big fish. I'm having a blast doing this. We've been, we've only been out here a couple hours. A uh, little guy. I don't even know if we've been here quite a couple hours, and we've had flag after flag after flag going up and nonstop action. And this is a great way to fish. You should always have tip ups out, but sometimes when you just need to have some fun, go throw some tip ups out in a local lake or even a pond. You can have a heyday catching these nice northerns, and you get bass and perch like you've seen and everything else on them. So. Get out there, try some tip-ups, and have a good one. We'll see you next week.